what's goody collective it's your girl blue phoenix <clears throat> and i'm back with a quick message for us today i am just tapping in with you guys thank you so much for being here i do appreciate you and i do hope that this reading finds you in the highest of spirits and if you're not it's my intentions that you will be by the end of this reading so come on in collective thank you thank you thank you for being here don't forget to like the video share the channel uh, that helps get the message out to others that might need it as well all right and it is pisces season i am a pisces so if you need a reading look down below they are discounted they're 55 dollars um and they are returned within three to five days all right so hop on it while pisces season still active you know what i'm saying get active you know what i'm saying so let's see what's coming towards you what you need to know about irreplaceable oh my goodness this is nice the way you love can never be matched collective you understand me know that shit that you are irreplaceable no matter what you've been through what others have tried to tell you what others have tried to program you uh to believe excuse me about yourself know that you're irreplaceable okay what does the collective need to know today spirit time all right we have time being a factor here all right spirit what does the collective need to know today please somebody could have you on their mind somebody could be reflecting on i'm telling you i'm telling you somebody could be reflecting on um you know y'all's relationship and and, and um, coming to the realization that you are irreplaceable, that there aren't others like you. At the bottom of this card, it says, "I'm afraid it's I'm afraid it's too late to take action." But we're gonna see. All right. So, spirit, what is what's going on here? What do they need to know? Sorry if y'all hear music in the background. My uh <laughs> neighbor is cleaning out his car, and Lord, he got the music on deaf people lord jesus guess what just flew out get just guess <laughs> like, guess not nah. use your intuition what card you think it is bam <laughs> that was a cute little intuitive exercise i'm so proud of you for getting it right okay yeah i got faith in your ass okay okay what we need to know spirit runner who running you or them we gonna see obviously this is a relationship and it doesn't have to necessarily be like a lover this could be anybody a friend a family member a co-worker a lover so just put the energy where it goes okay pick up what resonates leave the rest this is a reading for the entire planet right <laughs> our entire world <laughs> the collective did, what did i tell you what did what did i tell that ass reminiscing wanting to mend this somebody's running and don't shoot the messenger i'm just a channel <laughs> escape is on the bottom california could be significant uh -uh, we're not doing all of them anything else we need to know about this person space so y'all are definitely not talking right now. And if you are, y'all are still y'all in separation. And then we have habits. I don't know if I will ever change. So somebody is reflecting on what happened between you guys. They are definitely in some sort of re irreplaceable again. And then we have gossip. I'm afraid what others will think. All right, this could be you or them, right? Because I know when we tell our friends, girl, let me tell you what he did to me, da 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 Our friends be on our side, and then we go and try to get back with that person. Our friends be looking at us like, bitch, you crazy. Everything you just said about that ninja, and you finna go back to him? Oh, okay, dumb dumb. Fuck them, okay? <laughs> Fuck them. Shit, sometimes we need to go back through a cycle to learn another lesson or some shit. Who knows? Who knows? It could work out the second time, third time. I heard. Okay. Oh, no, not. Y'all put that in your way and go. All right, Spirit. Anything else from this deck that we need to know? Then we're going to get some messages from this person. Shout out to whoever sent me this deck. You didn't include. Again, y'all. 
again, y'all. You better know how irreplaceable that ass is, okay? Because you are. All right. But whoever sent me this deck, thank you so much. You didn't include your name, so I can't shout you out. But thank you, boo. Let's see what's up. Oh, wow. When I look at your pictures, I feel lost in your eyes is the first card. Somebody's stuck on that ass, okay? That sounds so inappropriate. <laughs> Somebody's stuck on your collector? Damn. Oh, I still need more time to come to my own conclusions. Literally. I need more time. Time is a fact. Time is definitely a factor here. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> oh my god the light has gone out of my life since we parted ways oh because you're irreplaceable all right you always deserve so more than i was i'm gonna say much more than i was able to offer you messages from them please spirit to the collective how are they feeling I'll be back when we are fully happy and fulfilled in our lives. I like that. Okay. Don't be coming to me for your peace, non-ninja. You should have your own damn peace first. Okay. <laughs> no, we need to be full before we come be with each other. I am aware that there's more to it than meets the eye. Nothing's ever going to change my love for you. You are the one. Literally. Literally. Okay. Up under irreplaceable, you got reveal. I want to tell you the truth and then daydreaming. I'm always longing for you. We're going to keep this reveal card. I, now, okay. What the hell? What? We, what? Okay. Well, the truth about what, sir or ma'am? Okay. Anything else from this deck? Messages from them, please. <sighs> I've realized that there's a strong bond between us. For some of y'all, y'all could resonate with twin flame dynamic, especially with this runner being out here. All right, the UK could be significant for someone. All right. All right, somebody name could be James, okay? All right, I still have hope that we will be together again. Oh, tell us more, spirit. Damn, come on now. Your presence in my life brought me so much happiness. Let's do one more. And then we are gonna see what this truth is, okay? Any other messages from them? I still have hope that we can work through things. Interesting. Please don't lose hope in me as I am working on myself. Bless them, Lord. Help them, God. Okay, help them do the work, Lord. Okay. All right, Spirit. So what are their intentions with the... Um, this? They need more time. They need more time. Definitely. They are... They're healing. This is a card of, of rest, of recuperation, <clears throat> of no movement, okay? What are their intentions with the collective? The death card, interesting. It's endings that bring new beginnings. Spirit, what are their intentions with the collective, please? Watching. Uh, and somebody requested a video on how to like tap further into your um, your powers. All right, I'll start working on that for you. All right, so be on the lookout for that video in the next week or two. <laughs> oh, what are their intentions? Calling that ass back to toxicity? What are we doing? What? Okay, we gonna leave it at. But okay, hold on, y'all, hold on. Timing is such a factor here, y'all. Something about somebody's job, too. Somebody could be, like, working longer hours. Or it, it could be vice versa. Like, it's something about a change in somebody's work habits or something. That, that I'm just getting that intuitively. All right. 
Ooh, Lord, that devil, Lord. All right, a Capricorn could be significant. They watching, looking, stalking, bless them. What are their intentions with the collective? My God. My God. Ha. Lelu. Jesus. Buddha. Shiva. All of them. Look at it now. What are their intentions? I want to know what this world is. You got the emperor and the empress with the king of pentacles. A very prosperous connection here. Let's see though. Because what's this world? What? Winning. That's what I just heard. Winning. So let's find out what the devil is. With their intentions for you. They're obsessively looking at that ass, okay? All right, this person could like really, because I didn't say that ass a lot. So this person could really like your ass, like your booty, okay? <laughs> your peach. <laughs> that apple bottom, okay? <laughs> All right. Oh, Lord. This person is literally obsessing at this point, bro. Like, what in the entire fudge? Okay. My God. Okay. Okay. I don't see the Ace of Wands out here, but just be careful about pregnancy, okay, with this person. They might want to get that ass trapped, baby. That ass, once again. Now, I say it now, but I don't say it this much, so they really like your booty. <laughs> Or oh, you can really like that. What is the other? Two of Swords. And Justice. This person is literally going back and forth in their mind on how to bring balance into y'all's situation. What do they plan to do, Spirit? To bring balance into this situation. I feel like for right now, that ass is resting. Okay. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You also have Capricorn, big, Aries, Taurus, Libra, big, right? Capricorn, Aries, Taurus, Libra. And then you have Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus with the King of Pentacles. But the major energies are Capricorn, Aries, Taurus, and Libra right now. This is a lot of thinking. This is a lot of thinking for this person. Let's find out what this truth is, actually, because <clears throat> the page of swords is the truth seeker. What kind of truth are they? What, what they trying to? What they what? What's the truth, spirit? What's this truth that they want to reveal to the collective? This sound like a reading we did recently. It might have been the Capricorn reading. <clears throat> What's this truth that they want to reveal? Ten of Wands. Something is too much for this person. What's too much for them, Spirit? The Knight of Swords holding themselves back for one. R. Somebody name could start with an R. R E definitely. R E something. Renee R Reginald. I don't know. Oh. Mm. Bless them, Lord. All these damn heavy ass cards. Ten of Wands. Ten of Swords. Ten ten could be significant. The nine of wands. They trying to lay down their burdens and get some sort of balance going on in their life. Alright. So you got the Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords, Nine of Wands, Justice, and the 10 10 10 okay and then the wheel of fortune no one two three four tens bro bless them lord they trying to they trying to do something what they trying to do spirit they trying to look at something differently or find a new way of doing something or something like that the ten of cups with the What is this that they going through, spirit? What does this have to do with? 
they're definitely trying not to overthink anymore. But something is weighing down on this person. What is this? This person, because this is karmic justice right here. This is karmic justice. This person is trying to figure out how to make this right, y'all. The Eight of Swords. They don't know how, though. They can't see a way out or a way to you. What's the Eight of Swords? I'm telling you. I'm telling you. What's behind it? I'm telling you, y'all, y'all got this person praying. <laughs> What's that? I'm telling you. What I tell you, what I tell you, I'll be telling you now. I'm telling you, this person is like God. Okay, this must collaborate with spirit team card, right? This collaboration card, period, right? Like working with somebody, right? This person wants to work this out with you. <laughs> Bless them, Lord. Oh Lord, oh Lord, this person think about you a lot, baby. Oh, they miss you. Oh, they miss you. Come on now, spirit. Tell me more about this person now, okay? What's this secret? Give me, let's go back though. Now that we know what that's about. Tell me about this secret. What's this secret spirit? <gasps> oh! A Virgo could be significant. Oh, this person is sad without you, baby. This person is sad without that ass. Real talk. Let's see what the rest of these cards were, though. A third party could be significant. 33 is here the secret you got the heart the, <laughs> the heart of swords what the three of swords the high priestess the three of cups the six of cups and the uh page of cups your intuition could have been telling you um that a third party could have been significant you know this is like you, hidden this this is hidden as a secret three of cups is the past right i'm gonna take that as confirmation all right, this could be you with the third party or them, all right? Okay, so what's your advice for the collective spirit? We gonna get up out of here. What's your advice for the collective with this person's spirit, please? Temperance. For some of y'all, this is a, a, like a higher level commitment. And then the queen of cups, interesting. Loving, caring, nurturing intuitive as fuck listens to her intuition right and this is this is turning a bad situation into a good one this is patience right i'm just telling you what spirit is saying you take your own advice okay <laughs> okay nobody telling y'all to go back to no toxic shit now okay uh-uh i'm not no it's almost giving me a like be patient be patient not necessarily with them. Be patient for everything to come, just flow to you, okay? The moon. All right, a Sagittarius, a, a, a shit. I said Libra, um, Pisces, Cancer, Pisces. All right, could be significant. Advice. Two of Wands. Interesting. And the King of Swords. Interesting. With the Eight of Cups on the bottom. Continue to heal from this, okay? All right. Be patient with yourself. 
Because the two of wands could talk about like a, a new connection, a new prospect, right? Um, yeah, getting back out there. All right, make sure you're using your discernment, especially like meeting new people and shit like that. But yeah, walking away and emotionally detaching from this right here. All right, so do with this message what you will. I love you so much. If you need a personal reading, look down below in the description box. Don't forget to like the video, share the channel, and I will see y'all down below in the comments. Love you.